Today I'm going to teach you the easiest way to build a mobile app in less than 30 minutes and get it inside of the iOS or Android store without coding at all. In fact, we're only going to be using one no-code drag and drop tool to build this. And by the end of this video, I guarantee you'll be able to build your own mobile app from scratch. Welcome back to the studio, everyone. At this point, you're probably wondering which platform I'm about to talk about. So let me introduce you to Dominique, Sebastian, and Jerome. And these three founders are from a small island called Corsica that's between France and Italy. And 13 years ago, they got together to build what is today one of the leading no-code platforms in the market. Now, the name of this platform is Good Barber, and it's probably the simplest no-code tool for you to launch a mobile app. And no, Good Barber doesn't give you a haircut. I'm so sorry in advance for all my terrible dad jokes. But we got a lot to cover, so let's build an app. So when you come to their website, we're going to see that they're heavily focused on mobile app building. So anything that you can launch in the iOS or Android store, for example. Now, the two things they focus on are really simplicity of use, but also having pretty powerful apps. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when we jump into the editor in just a moment. But with this platform, you can build simple and also complex apps. So basically, you can build things like e-commerce. You could have membership apps where you charge subscriptions and any one of the additional apps here. I'll show you the process from start to finish in a sec. Now, one thing I'd like to note here is that it's not just about building the app. This also allows you to manage the marketing of the app. It also allows you to get statistics of the app inside of this app builder and also monetization. So for example, if you're selling things online, you'll have access to obviously all of the orders and uh, be able to fulfill on those. So things like inventory management, for example. Another cool thing is that they have lots of plugins. They have more than 190 different plugins and you can also tap into third-party APIs for more complex features. So yeah, with no further to do let's jump in and click on create an app so the first thing it does it brings me to this onboarding which is very simple to follow so even if you have no experience you're going to be able to build with this platform now some of you might just be building an app for yourself but others might be wanting to generate their first thousand dollars online by building a first app for a local business for example so let's go ahead and grab one of these templates to kick it off here we have restaurants that could be a good idea online courses that's also pretty cool local delivery and pickup let's check this one out yeah so why don't we just follow this template we will build a platform that allows you to order flowers and pick them up at the store. And you could build this, customize it, and sell it to your local flower shop. So the next thing is choose your theme. So I'm gonna go with this. Now you get to choose your overall navigation, right? So you could choose uh, for every time you open the menu for it to open on the left. Let's grab this one and basically make a classic app where you have the icons at the bottom here. I'm gonna call my app Flower Power. I'm gonna give it my email address and it's magically doing stuff. My app is ready, let's go ahead and discover it. Let's jump in. Now the first thing you'll notice here is that this is actually the functional app, right? You can click on these and you can actually see what this looks like and you can add it to cart you can go and check out the different sections so we have a section around plants bouquets dried flowers and uh, this is pretty much the home now we want to fully adapt this template and we want to build our own version the first thing I would do if you're working within a template is to go and check out the app style here on the right hand side I can change the colors or the color palette let's say that I wanted it to be a little bit more in this color Excellent. So let's go ahead and apply this palette. I can also choose for specific sections. Now, in this case, I'm just going to change the general palette. If I come back here, I can then change the font. Let's say I'm not a big fan of this font. Let's find a font that's a little bit more adapted to what I like. Yeah, I like that. It looks a little bit more like your local spot. Now, of course, I can adapt, for example, the different sections. So here it has all the different sections and we could have different fonts for each or the same font for all of them. Those are some of the basic options that I would definitely change, but you have many more under here. You could change the actual icons with those look like so that's just kind of the general styling right but if i go up here to the top you can actually change the design of the menu or you can change the layout of the home for example so there's uh, a lot that can be done here as well so here it's showing me the structure right it shows the first section which is this promo banner which has the discount i could choose to delete this if i wanted to let's say that i wanted to just delete it i want to go straight into the flowers for example a wonderful Mother's Day. Then we have some links, social media, and of course, all these sections I could basically delete. I could also add all sorts of sections. So I could have a list of products, something for people to subscribe to my newsletter. I could even import custom code down here. And once I'm happy with the structure, I can also change what each one of these sections kind of looks like. If I want to change the display here, I could have it look more like this, where it shows individual ones. I could have it be sliders. So you have quite a bit of flexibility in terms of how you want this thing to look. Now in my case, I kind of like the one that we had originally. So let me keep that one. And you can do that through all the sections. Before we get too lost in the design, if I come back to the main panel, I see here on the right hand side, there is a 
little thing called structure. So this basically shows you the entire structure of the app. That home page might click to different sections. At the bottom you have a navigation. So here we're gonna be able to check all of those things out. You can either look at it as a tree, which is kind of simpler. So there's a header and then we go to the menu bar. The menu bar can direct you to all of these different ones, right? So there are basically a list page and then there is a detail page for each one of those plants. This is where we're gonna have all of the items and we're basically gonna replace these with the items of our actual local flower. Shop. The most important thing to get first is this structure. So you can obviously adapt these existing sections, but you could also, for example, add a section from scratch. You could create different collections. So this would be basically like different items. So we have plants, we have bouquets, we have dried flowers. The collections are not the only thing we can put here. We can also have all sorts of other things like a blog. We could have a form. We could have a map. I've even connected my own YouTube API and brought in all of the videos that I currently have in here. So if I wanted to, I could literally just create an app for We Are No Code. It would notify people every time a video was released and even have some interactions with my fans through this mobile app. By the way, if you have an idea, but you have no idea how to code and you don't even know how to get started, but you don't wanna spend $30,000 on expensive programmers, you can check out our course below to allow you to build, launch, and monetize your startup without writing a single line of code. We have a free course, but we also have a full course bundle that breaks down every single step and also provides you with workbooks so that you don't have to guess anymore. So you can follow the steps to build, launch, and monetize your first app. You will also get access to a community of more than 10,000 people who are also doing this crazy thing called entrepreneurship. We still got lots to cover, so let's jump back into the building. But if you go all the way to the bottom, you even have extension store. Now this is where it gets exciting and you can actually build in some deeper functionalities inside of your app. For example, if I wanted to integrate a payment gateway, I could easily do it. Let's say I don't want people only to pick up these flowers, I can also deliver them. And you could pretty much connect this to anything because they also have this developer tool. Here are some of the popular ones here below. So for example, in-store pickup, stock management, but if you wanna just check out all the ones that are available, you can go here to all categories. You pretty much get the point. Now let's get back to our app. Now once I'm happy with the kind of layout and structure of the app, I'm gonna to wanna to replace all of the actual content because I don't have these poetic pampas in my store. I have, I don't know, red roses. So here we go into structure. We're gonna be able to edit the content for each one of these sections. I can go to plants. It's gonna ask me if I want to edit the content or edit the design. You can edit the design of this entire sort of block or the product list, but let's go ahead and edit the content. So this is where we're gonna add all of the inventory that we actually have. Philodendron, okay, didn't even know that was a thing. I'll go ahead and delete those. Or I can actually import an entire list of items even with the number in stock so that once we don't have any more stock, there are no more available to purchase. Of course, we can create individual ones by clicking on this button. Then we're gonna to need to add that to a collection, add tags if we want. We're gonna show how we want to kind of display it. So now let's say we fine tune this app to the point at which it has all of the information we want. It has the design that we like. It has the structure that we like. We've added all the functionalities that we want. And now we want to actually start preparing to launch this, right? Now, before we're ready to start launching, I would recommend that we go and update the launch screen. So this is basically the screen that we're gonna use once we open up the app. Here you can either write out in text or you can add a picture. I would actually recommend to get a high quality design in here that would look really beautiful when people open the app. It's kind of a little wow factor. And up here you can also check out how it's gonna look on iPhone and Android. Once I'm done with that, I would jump into the next section which is the app icon. You might wanna get a designer to do this for you, but you could also do this right here and create kind of a, a basic design. Once we're ready to launch, the next step is gonna be to come here to dash board and to actually start preparing for that launch. We get to choose between launching in the iOS store, the Android store, or to create a progressive web app. So let's say I wanted to publish to the iOS store. Let's go ahead and publish in iOS. Now what I love about this is that they actually have a full checklist and you have to basically comply with all these things before you can push it in, but it really makes it easy for you to actually go and fulfill these. So if I wanted to come here, I hadn't done the icon yet, I could do that. Now at any point, you can jump in here and you can check out by previewing your app. You can in fact even have a test mode of your app once you've configured your store here. What it'll allow you to do is basically to create a QR code that you can send to anyone and just by checking out that QR code, they'll be able to access your app. Here inside of the settings, you can go ahead and add uh, essentially your emails, if you wanna send out emails to your clients, push notifications. Now, if you wanted to sell this app to the store, you could actually give them access to this platform because here they're gonna be able to check out all of their orders. They can also manage all of the products. You can teach them how to do that to hand it off. And they're gonna have a whole list of the clients that they have. So this is a CRM too. Here is also the statistics of the app. So really checking out the activity, the traffic. Okay, so everything you've just learned in this video should allow you to build your own first app from scratch, but building is 
app is different than actually going out there and getting paid customers. So if you wanna check out this video, I'm gonna show you how not only to build a full AI app from scratch, but also how to go out and get paying customers for it. The video is just hanging out right here, so why don't you just click on it and check it out. If you like that video, then subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.